Hello everybody and uh, I salute you from this uh, white wonderland where uh, even magic is possible. Before um, getting to the main subject I want to shed some uh, lights uh, on the motivations that led us to the decision to purchase this property. This choice marks the beginning of a journey towards a way of living that obviously defies uh, modern societal uh, expectations. I grew up in an apartment in a medium-sized uh, city, experiencing uh, nature only briefly during summer holidays when I was uh, visiting my grandparents uh, in the countryside. Um, so uh, I was always eagerly expecting uh, these summer holidays to have a taste of uh, the freedom that uh, nature provides those who visit it. I'm not sure if I was born with a strong desire for freedom, if it developed through various uh, books that I read uh, during my youth or uh, during these uh, summer holidays. Regardless, it has become one of my most cherished uh, values in life. However, this uh, desire also created a sort of handicap uh, for me uh, in relation with the modern society. I have a degree in philosophy and guess what? Uh, my dissertation uh, was uh, based on the concept of freedom. Somehow I sensed this uh, so-called rat race even before I uh, got to have a taste of it. This awareness has uh, made it difficult for me to accept uh, the constraints of what is normally regarded as a normal life. And yes, a part of me sees this as a handicap. There were so many times when I wish I could adhere to the expectation of a conventional life, uh, living a day-by-day -day routine uh, like everybody else. Well, the discussion around this subject is uh, quite complex and uh, I may be addressing it in a future video. The thing is, I always yearn for uh, the freedom of a simple life in nature where uh, being is more important than uh, having. For a long time before I got married, I uh, always envisioned my uh, family life um, in a rural setting, uh, as uh, self-sufficient and independent as uh, possible. The only challenge was my skepticism uh, regarding about uh, finding a woman who would accept my uh, way of thinking uh, and my uh, adventurous vision of life. This may explain why I married late in life, but uh, ultimately God uh, sent me the right person to share my aspirations and uh, my vision of a meaningful life. At one point in my life I uh, began taking camping trips on my own, uh, experiencing uh, various uh, bushcraft techniques. This allowed me to learn uh, how to rely on natural resources while I was uh, out in the woods. I view this as a more natural approach that aligns with the philosophy of self-sufficiency, where you don't need a multitude of gadgets and uh, modern tools to face the elements. In the meantime, I was involved with uh, other activities uh, because, of course, we need money, which uh, to some extent can be a support for uh, personal freedom. But uh, mainly I worked as a photographer, and I still do. Uh, and that was uh, another way of turning a passion into a means of uh, income. And uh, being a freelancer obviously involves the idea of freedom again. In uh, 2019, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we purchased the first property not far from here, in a place a bit more hardly ac accessible. It's a place I was uh, familiar with a long time ago, because I used to go there for a lot of camping trips. Some of my old followers know what I'm talking about and uh, the old military camp. So we began uh, building a house, uh, starting with the foundation. Our first child was uh, already a toddler and the second one uh, was on the way. I set up a military tent on the property and uh, started documenting uh, the journey on YouTube. The plan was to build a house and uh, move in once it was completed. 
During this time I experienced a growing sense of independence and freedom along with improvements in my mental and uh, physical health. I spent long periods outside in the woods and uh, began to notice the discrepancies uh, between our true potential and uh, how society shapes us from, uh, from an early age. In the process though we came to realize some things that made us stop the project and uh, reassess our future plans. The most important concern uh, was uh, our children. Since they are still small, they need more than uh, what the location could provide. While we envision a different life for them, one surrounded by nature, where they can learn essential skills and uh, enjoy the outdoors for an idyllic childhood, we also don't want to isolate them completely. We realize we prefer to be away from uh, crowded areas, but not too far. In addition to the healthy lifestyle we want for them, um, we also wish to travel and uh, expose them to various experiences that uh, broaden their horizons. We take them to different uh, activities and uh, living uh, in a secluded area would uh, complicate this. Therefore, we concluded that uh, while uh, this location might be ideal for a couple without children, it is not the right fit for a family with small kids as a permanent home. The second reason was I had to be away from them most of the time. The military tent was not suitable for a family, especially during the colder months, so I had to stay there alone. Even though the location was perfect in other aspects, I uh, began to lose my motivation. I believe it's very important for a family to be together as much as possible. Marshmallow. Ah, da, așa se numește. Se poate face ciocolată. Se poate face ciocolată caldă cu so a couple of years later, during the pandemic, uh, which was a really stressful time, uh, our desire to change something being get uh, at its highest point, we discovered uh, this place. It's, uh, it's situated just above a small village, far enough to enjoy the benefits of an isolated property, yet close enough to access the conveniences of uh, civilization. The property is semi-off-grid, connected only to the power grid, which is uh, beneficial as uh, the energy costs are quite low in this uh, isolated area. There is a well nearby that serves as our water source, but I need to clean it before we can uh, safely drink from it. Fortunately, the area has plenty of springs and the quality of the water is very good. This year, though, has been concerning due to a severe drought. Um, the well has dried up even though the locals told me they've uh, never seen it uh, without water. For the past month we haven't been able to get any water from it and uh, have had to source our water from elsewhere. In the worst case scenario we may need to dig another well in a location where the water flow is stronger. The house is an old cabin that it's over 100 years old. Before purchasing it, uh, I inspected the wood and uh, considering its age, it's still in good condition. The property spans 5,000 square meters, which is about 1.2 acres, providing enough space for a self-sufficient family homestead. I have always enjoyed the DIY projects, so I decided to renovate the house on my own. And I have to mention that it's a big uh, challenge for me, considering my photographer, philosopher background. But I see it as a project that uh, will bring us uh, a lot of satisfaction when it's uh, finished. Good construction workers can be quite expensive, and many of the others tend to be unreliable. As you saw in the previous videos, the place is gorgeous, surrounded by uh, many wonders of nature, and there's still more to discover. Right 
now it's a bit challenging because it's uh, the cold season, but uh, I can't wait for the warm weather so we can uh, really start to make the most of it. The image of the completed project inspires me a lot, but my uh, biggest motivation comes from the kids. When I see them playing around, it feels like they've always belonged here. They truly love this place. And now for the most awaited uh, question, how much did we pay for this property? Initially, the, the owner asked for uh, 20,000 euros and after negotiations uh, he sold it for uh, 16,000. So this is what we paid for it, 16,000 euros. And uh, this was a couple of years ago. In the meantime, uh, the prices uh, are uh, even bigger. The plan is to complete the house and then uh, incorporate some uh, permaculture ideas, possibly including a food forest. Initially we intend to get uh, chickens and other small animals, which will definitely make the kids happy. Since the food we eat is one of our biggest concerns, our plans also include providing healthier food for the family. This project is challenging and uh, requires a significant amount of work and investment. However, I am hopeful that uh, we will see it completed and uh, enjoy the benefits for years to come. I strongly believe that this experience will not only enhance our home, but also improve our inner selves and strengthen our family relationships. This is a significant part of our motivation, knowing that all our hard work and experiences will uh, have a positive impact on us as uh, individuals. It will uh, also provide our children with a strong and uh, healthy upbringing, creating lasting memories for them to cherish later in life. I'm confident that uh, at one point uh, they will look back with uh, gratitude at the decisions we made for ourselves today. Well, this is it. This, is, uh, this concludes our video for today. I, uh, I hope uh, it answers some of your questions. Uh, I wanted to shed some light on our ideas, on our background and uh, I will. Uh, I hope uh, you'll stick with us on this journey, and uh, stay tuned and see how this uh, process uh, evolves. Thank you, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye.